Good morning, man. It's the next. Welcome to back to another video, bro. 552. I'm about to head my way to work. I'm stopping, grab me some coffee. But today is a special video. So I have a client today, 3 o'clock, and I have a meeting with my boy at 4 o'clock. And that meeting is going to be something special. It's something that you guys are gonna probably going to like. Bring it back something from what we used to do. But we ain't going to tell y'all just yet. You got to just wait. All right. But 4 o'clock video. I mean, 4 o'clock meeting, bro. Yeah, bro. It's going to change. It's going to change everything, bro. So. Hope you guys gonna enjoy this video, man. Uh, man, I'm gonna bring you guys along, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the last one. Y'all guys went crazy, so I appreciate y'all. And if you're new, subscribe, man. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family, man. I really appreciate you for tapping in. And let's go, man. Let's keep growing this family, man. We just arrived at work, bro. It has been brick outside, bro. I don't know what's going on, bro. First, it was at like 75. First, it was at like 75, 65. I think we had an 80, 80 degree day, but bro, what is this 35 degree weather, bro? This is why I want to get out of Pennsylvania so bad, bro. Look at it, bro. Look at it, bro. 35 degrees, bro. He's about at work. I'm going to go in in like 10 minutes because the day starts at, uh, well, 6.30, but everybody starts coming in at 7, so I'm going to go in at 7. Go in at 7, Gary, situated, and then, yeah, man, we are off tomorrow, so we got to figure out what I'm going to do, so I want to you know obviously get some work but we gotta figure out what's available i mean i like doing like the little part-time jobs and stuff like that like if you guys listen if you're a young guy listen up man this is how you really stack your bread right have your main gig right if you're doing content or whatever or whatever side business you're doing you got your second gig the third gig is your your temp like your your part-time work temp work like for me i'm gonna put i ain't gonna say i'm gonna put you on some game i'm gonna put you on some game though like you got different apps that you can pick up shifts right you can pick up jobs easy jobs too and they pay you pretty good you feel me so and you get paid the next day so i'm trying to look and see if i can find an opportunity uh, find a, a, a open shift tomorrow maybe like two shifts tomorrow on friday i got all day filled i got all day you know what I'm saying size like other stuff i gotta do but i got all day open so i gotta do something bro i hate sitting at the crib so we're gonna pick up some shifts we're trying to find something that's you know obviously reasonable obviously you know not too far but yeah so you have your first job your main income right you got your, your part-time your, your side your side gig right so like my side gig is doing content and um and cutting hair so that's my side gig right um if i'm not doing that i'm finding like other part-time jobs that i can do right so that's three incomes already right three incomes that's coming in so if you're a young guy man hopefully take this advice man especially if you're in college bro college is probably the best time to stack your bread bro forget all the partying all that extra stuff going out to eat i was trying to be cool man forget all that bro stack your bread bro i wish i would have learned this when i was in school bro i swear i promise you bro i would have been better off if i just learned and just listened and stack my bread like i was supposed to bro but yeah man so now i'm telling y'all guys stack your bread bro forget about all the partying all that extra stuff you know what i'm saying it'll come later feel me all that stuff is always going to be there stack your money bro and get your credit right. Get your money, get your credit right, and, and self-improving yourself, bro. I promise you, bro, you're gonna be unstoppable. But man, I dropped some gems for y'all just now, man. But yeah, about to head inside real quick. This day over with, man. And I'm gonna catch y'all when we get out of here at 2.30, man. All right, man, welcome back, family. We are finally done work. We just got off, had a little talk with uh, one of my coworkers, but they head back to the crib. I have a client coming at three o'clock. So we gotta dice him up. I dice him up before the night because he said he has a date, so we gotta go crazy. So we gotta slice him up, man, give him the best cut. And then uh, we had that meeting with my boy at four o'clock to discuss, you know, a new new thing we about, you feel me? I, I can't wait to show y'all, bro. I can't wait to show y'all, man. I'm excited, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I had thoughts of, you know, restarting it too. Last week, at the confirmation when I was at church because somebody asked me about it. And I was just like, damn, man, maybe I should start it. Maybe I should do it one more time, bro. One more time. Try it one more time. My boy hit me and said, yo, let's do it. Woo! So that's, I mean, what other confirmation can you get, bro? So excited, man. Can't wait to show y'all what we got planned. And then gonna get a workout in the night. And right after the meeting, probably gonna work out at the gym. And then, yeah, man. And finish off, you know, studying. Just, you know what I'm saying? Get all the stuff that we need, you know what I'm saying? Before we, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, comment, subscribe, man, to the bell so you don't miss any updates, bro. So let's get on with the day, man. I'm gonna catch y'all later. All right. Good morning, guys. This is the next day. Unfortunately, yesterday we wasn't able to get the, the meeting done. Something had came up, so we couldn't do it. So we had to reschedule, obviously. But hopefully we can get done later on this week or hopefully next week because I have a podcast I have to do next weekend. And then also going to be training with somebody um, on Friday. So pretty busy, you know, week for next week. And also Thanksgiving is coming up. So got to get prepared for that. Got to get ready for that. I mean, got a lot of stuff. Got to see a lot of people. A lot of stuff is happening. You know what I'm saying? And also getting content as well, too. So it's a lot going on. So so today, today we're going to start off with a workout, man. So we're getting, I think today's our full body speed day. So we got cleans, um, some trap bar deadlifts, um, probably some box jumps and stuff like that. So trying to get a little bit, you know, I'm saying some agility going but then yeah man started with the day got a pretty busy day today so let's get to it
finish the gym. I want to go to, I have to go to the lab court to get my blood done again. I already had them done, but my blood results is all over the place. And a lot of things were pretty high. So my doctor said we're going to run them again, see if their the numbers are still, you know, at that at that level. So we're going to go move on for there and see what we can do. But uh, I think it's because I started this carnivore diet. I was eating a lot of steak, a lot of you know, red meat and a lot of that stuff, you know. You know and I have uh, high cholesterol runs, runs big in my family. A lot of people in my family, they have high cholesterol. So unfortunately, it's probably like just a generational thing for me that I'm, I'm just going to naturally get high cholesterol. But I don't want to put that stigma on me. I know that, you know, we can prevent that from happening. So we're going to do the best that we can to prevent that from, you know, happening. Get our get our levels at normal. So probably going to pull back from the carnivore. Continue to still, like, cut out the rice, cut out the carbs, stuff like that. And continue to, like, you know, to eat the chicken, the veggies, fruit. And add in, you know, slowly add in, you know, the steak, the ground beef, and stuff like that. So yesterday I went to the grocery store and I bought, you know, some chicken. I bought some steak and some ground beef and also i bought a bunch of eggs too as well so yeah so that's what we're gonna do and hopefully we're gonna see if that helps a lot hopefully it does so i can bring down my cholesterol level and hopefully put my blood levels at like a, a normal state of where they're supposed to be so head at the lab court right now we're gonna go see if my doctor put in the order then after that go home grab some grab coffee can't forget that to start the day then go home uh shower up get some breakfast in and then start the day so let's get it So breakfast is done. Made a cup, made it simple. Eggs. I got some strawberries and I got some grapes in there. I said, man, I'm, I'm on that type of time where I'm just using full as fuel. I'm not, you know, doing that pleasure stuff. I'm not making protein pancakes. I'm not doing all that extra stuff, man. We're just gonna keep it simple, man. Go back to the basics, how we used to do things. Just get our body primed and get our body right for the season because this is how we're gonna eat. This is literally how we're gonna eat during the season. You feel me? So get our bodies right, get our bodies primed up to go fuel, you know, our muscles and yeah, give our body what it wants. You're saying get our body what it needs. You feel me? You're not gonna put the wrong gas in your car, you know why? Because your car ain't gonna run. It's gonna keep getting your oil changed, you know why? Because it's gonna help your engine, it's gonna help your, you know, your car, you know, drive efficiently, you know, as it needs to be. So and you're not gonna run your car to the empty, you feel me, and not put gas in it. So you gotta feel your body. Treat your body like a sports car, you feel me? Give your body the nutrients and the, the right stuff that it needs and cut off all the junk food, man. I'm trying myself off all the, you know, processed stuff, cut off all the, you know, extra junk food, stuff like that. And I ain't gonna lie, those trail mix I've been eating, bro, got a choke hold on. I gotta, I gotta try to like you feel me, try alternative and you know, put those down, maybe, you know, limit the amount that I'm getting. You know, I kinda get them during while I'm at work. I usually eat those, you know, for lunch. I don't usually get a big meal for lunch eat those and then i'll eat some when i get home so try and cut that out a little bit you feel me because they do have a chokehold on me I'm, I'm a big chocolate peanut butter lover and anything with, anything with peanut butter chocolate and, and all that kind of stuff man I'm, I'm yeah i'm a sucker for i'm not gonna lie i'm not perfect but we're, we're gonna get better we're gonna you know what i'm saying cut that out so i'm gonna knock this down man I'm taking that i'm tired my body body telling me yo take a little nap real quick get back up recharge and then we're gonna finish off the day man so i'm gonna catch y'all when we get up from our nap we're going listen right so and you all get you getting cranked Get out, get over here. Said she wanted certain, 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 you know, top style of stinker so And I was like, man, you know what, man? Let me, let me just do it. Let me just do my big one. Feel me? And yeah, like I, I, I was, I was having trouble trying to, you know, pick which one, which style. They both was fire, right? They both was fire, but she don't know which one that I had got, right? But she gonna find out in just a second. I'm gonna show y'all though. I'm gonna show y'all though. I'm gonna show y'all though. I'm gonna show Ooh. Let me know in the comments, man. Drop down in the comments. Let me know, man. But excuse me. Take a freaking turn. I didn't expect to end up in the gun range, but my dog Tyrone said, "Man, I said the gun range today. You say you wanted to go, so we here right now. We got me, him, one of his guys. So we finna lock in right now." <laughs> I shot a shit on this one, bro. I don't know. I got 
gotta redo it now. Right, right, right. Ready. Sir. It's a little different right here. Oh. Oh. What's good with you? Uh, we riding the seven. Yeah, man. It's a, little, it's a little different. We riding the new joint. It's a little different. Let me park up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we about to go watch this Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight, man. It's about to get rowdy in here. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I feel like this do not script it. I really feel like they're gonna knock Mike Tyson out, bro. Person. Even though Mike Tyson's really old, he can still, you know, knock people out. But here's my personal opinion on it. I'm gonna let Jake win the fight. Exactly. Just to, just to make more money off just of it. Just to make more money off of it, yeah. But I don't know. I think he's gonna win the fight. Uh, Mike isn't really gonna give him a really uh Yeah, Mike gonna really Mike put him Close them, 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 close them